This is the second time I'm trying to re record this tonight. The first time I made it too long. So what I've done is to start again and I'm going to be a little quicker. Now I want you to start off with four pages, four sheets on Excel. Title dashboard, question and results. On title I want you to write course, name, date to day and the version. When you've done this then I want you to click onto the button, draw a button, click on to record, OK that and then go to dashboard. Then click on the blue square. When you go back to title, there is your button and I want you to write dashboard. OK, now when you click off, you can now click on there and now you're on dashboard. You can see I've already got a button on there that I've made before taking to questions, but don't worry about that. Let's make a second button to take us back to title. OK. Make the button. Click on to record. Click OK. Move to title. And then hit the blue square. Now I can go to the dashboard, go on to there, and write title. So now I've got a button to take me back to the title page. OK, now I want you to put these buttons on every page so that you can take us around your piece without having to go on to these. The next thing that I want you to do when you've done the title, when you've done the dashboard, is to go to questions. Make a button to take you to questions and then enter all of your questions onto the question sheet. Here's a question that I've set down already. Question 1 what is your gender? This is the question that you're asking people about the questionnaire, in the questionnaire, and so you've given them two choice, A, male, B, female. Now, here's a second question, what is your age, A, 1821, B, 22 to 24, and C, 25 plus? When you've got these, then I want you when you've got all the questions entered down, you will have sent out your questionnaire and so you'll start getting results back. So if we go to results, here you can see I've put in a table, I've put in 10 students, I'll just make the size of that a little smaller, i put in 10 students, I put in the details of question 1, the results of question 1, male, female, and so on. And so with these details, then I can go back to my dashboard and see about creating the next thing, which is a combo box. Because what I want to happen is when I get to your dashboard, I will get details about the students on the dashboard. OK, so I click onto there, onto the combo box, and draw a combo box. Now, to make a combo box work, you need three parts. You need the combo box, you need a cell, an empty cell, and you need a third part where you're putting a formula. 
Let's go on to there and click on with the right hand mouse. This drop down menu occurs and you go to format control. Now what you need to do is to look at the range, the input range for this. If I click onto there and move to my results, that is the input range. I'll click onto there and go to the link cell. This is my link cell. And then after that, this one is how not f low down the combo box will drop. OK, so having done that, if I click off and now go on to there, you can see there are my 10 students. If I click on to number 2, you'll see in my link box up comes number 2. Let me let me just remove that. So there's number 2. OK. Now I need to put a formula in. So, I'm going up to insert, insert the formula. Index is there, and that's the formula I want. The first thing is to say the function has multiple argument list. Please select one of them below. I want the array. OK. Up comes this, and it says, where is the array? I click onto there and go to results. Here is the array of results. Eventually I'm going to move all the way along there with the result, but for the moment I'm just there. I click back there and now it says what's the row or number? Well the row or number is there. Okay. And when you look at the column, I only put one column, so it must be one. That's that. OK, so now, when I click onto there, and look there, it says student number one is male. I don't really need to see this, however. I need it to make these things work. So when I go to student number nine, male. Student number 10, female. Let's have a look. Student number 1, male. Student number 9, male. Student number 10, female. So what we're trying to do is to say on our dashboard site we could display details from the results on here with all sorts of information about various students. That is what I would like you to attempt to create with your results. Thank you very much.